Hi everyone, it's Lorelai and welcome to another RPG Maker With tutorial. In this video, we are going to design our final boss. So let's go to the database, go under enemies, and I'm going to put our boss at number 30. Before we come up with a name, I'm going to pick an image for him. And it would be nice for him to be either L size or XL size. So let's look and see. I like this guy, the stone statue. I think he fits our crystal cave theme well enough. Let's name him the Stone Guardian. Because if you remember, our main quest is to get the king's crystal that this stone guy is protecting. So I think the Stone Guardian is a good name. We'll definitely be playing around with the parameters during our play testing, but let's go ahead and make the max HP 2000. I'll give him 500 MP. 50 attack. Let's go with 50 defense also because he is made of stone. I might leave magic attack as it is. He's probably not going to be using any magic abilities, but I'll increase his magic defense to let's say 30. He's more defensive to physical attacks than he is to magical attacks. I'll keep agility really low because he's made of stone. He should go pretty slowly. And for luck, I'll just increase this to 25. Next under rewards and drops. Let's put the XP reward to, I don't know, 500, and the gold reward to 1,000. Though there isn't really anything in this game worth 1,000 gold, especially as it's currently designed. But if anyone ever wants to make a chapter two to this game, maybe that gold can be put to use. And let's say he drops the best weapons for our characters, a dragon blade and a dragon staff. At this point, I'm really just messing around. This is the final boss in the game. There isn't really anything after this boss, so it doesn't really matter what he's gonna drop. For his action patterns, I do have a few planned abilities for him. The first can stay as attack, which he can use whenever. The second ability is going to be double attack. I'm going to increase this rating to seven, but the condition of this is if his HP is less than half. So once he gets to 50% HP, he's going to start double attacking. In fact, I'm going to change attack to only when he's above 50%. That way we can change the double attack rating back to five because now it's going to be either attack or double attack. This is going to make him very powerful when he's low in health. Then there are two skills I want to actually make for him. So let's go to skills, go to the bottom of our list, and I'll go ahead and start at 253. The first skill is going to be called Charge Up. It's not a very unique name, but what this ability is going to do is have the boss spend a turn charging up, giving him an attack buff, and then his next attack is going to be a big AoE attack that can only be done when he is charged up. So I'm going to set the MP cost to 50, keeping in mind that his max MP is 500, and the range is going to be the user. Under animations, let's go with power up two. For the effects, we're going to make a state called charged up, and under traits, we're going to increase his attack by 150%. This state does not have a removal condition because we are going to remove this state manually through the next AOE skill. So let's go back to enemies and add charge up. And the condition for this is going to be at his second turn plus every second turn after. And I want to increase the rating just in case. We're gonna set it all the way up to nine. <laughs> Now we want to make the skill he uses after he's charged up. So let's call this one Stone Explosion. And the MP cost of this is going to be 50 as well. So with Charge Up being 50 and Stone Explosion being 50, the total cost of this is 100 mana. If he has 500 mana, he can do this rotation five times in a battle. Let's set the range to all enemies. We'll set the hit type to a physical attack and the animation to, let's go with Earth All 2. Let's set the damage to HP damage and the formula to attack enemy, but let's go over to this times four and replace it with a times five. This might end up being a little too strong, but we'll see how it goes. And it can critically hit. After he uses Stone Explosion, we want the state charge up to go away. So let's go to remove state, charged up. Let's go back to our enemy, back to our final boss. 
and add the skill Stone Explosion with the rating to be super high. And the condition of Stone Explosion will be if the final boss has the state charged up. So now his expected action pattern is going to be attack when he is above 50%. On turn two, and then two turns after, he's going to use the ability charge up, which is going to give him that charged up state. And when he has that state, he's going to use stone explosion. And this is going to repeat throughout the battle. Then when he is lower than 50%, he will switch from attack to double attack. Next, let's make his troop. I'm going to increase the number of troops we have here and put him at number 12. Let's go to arrange and find the stone guardian. And there he is, front and center. Next to the stone guardian, I'm actually going to include two crystal fairies. One there and one over here, but I'm going to go under layout and move this crystal fairy over so that they flank him on either side. Just like that, I think. These crystal fairies are going to be using their heal ability on either themselves or the stone boss, adding an extra mechanic to the fight. Let's auto name this. And before we say we're done, I'm actually going to add two more crystal fairies, but this time these crystal fairies appear at certain times in the fight. So let's add one and two. And for both of these, I'm going to go to the sub menu and select appear mid battle. I'm gonna do that for this one and for this one. Then let's go to layout, see if we can move these guys over. Move this one over here and this one over here. And for these guys to appear, we're gonna have to go to the battle event page. Let's set the condition to enemy, the stone guardian at 75% HP or below. Under event details, I'll go to battle, enemy appear, and select one of those two crystal fairies that are set to appear midway. So number four crystal fairy, let's make another event page. We'll go back to conditions. This time we'll say when the stone guardian is at 25% HP. We'll go to battle, enemy appear, and then that last crystal fairy. Now I think it's time that we play test this boss. Let's set Kale to level five, and we'll set Lyra also to level five. And I'm going to give them the equipment that they were wearing at the end of our play test in the last episode. And then we can press okay. Let's see how we do. Our first attempt at the Stone Guardian. Let's start with a rallying cry to increase our attack and magic attack. And then Lyra can also buff up our defenses. Okay, our defenses are so high that the crystals aren't even doing any damage to us. That's not a bad thing, I suppose. Kale will use his AoE. And Lyra will also use her AoE. Nice, it's hard to see, but we got the Stone Guardian to bleed. And he's charging up. Let's see if this works. I'm going to Sword Slash and Radiant Burst. Oh, one of the, one of the Crystal Fairies got summoned. That means we're under 75% health. Now he didn't use his Stone Explosion, so we're gonna have to check that out. So it turns out I am super dumb. I forgot to actually add the state charged up to the skill. Whoopsie. I'm adding it now. So now when he uses charge up, he will actually get the charged up state and then he'll be able to use stone explosion. But this ability targets enemies. It's not targeting the user. And just set the auto removal timing for charged up to be after action end one. So this should remove the state after they have done one action, and that action being Stone Explosion. Finally, I think I'm going to increase his HP by another 2,000. Let's make it 4,000 HP. 
Is that too much? I don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> and I'm also going to increase the attack of our crystal fairies again. I'm thinking they're rare enough that they can have pretty high attack. And then I'll just make their defenses a little lower to make up for that. Now let's play test one more time. Okay, perfect. He lost the state. Now let's see if we can beat him. Now because he's doing every second turn, he's charging up right after using stone explosion. So I think we'll adjust that so it's a little longer in between. Let's go to our boss, his action patterns, and change charged up so that it is the second turn plus every fourth turn after. That should give us some breathing room in between charging up. Let's test this one more time. Third time's the charm. All right, we're going in guns a blazing with rallying cry and piercing shards. Let's try to make sure Rallying Cry is always up because if I remember right, Rallying Cry gives us like a 200% buff to our attack. And that's pretty significant, I think. And you know what? I actually just remembered that originally I was going to give the Stone Guardian a stun on the Stone Explosion, and that is why Lyra has Cleanse, so that she can get rid of Poison and Stun. I'm thinking this might be strong enough as it is. So I might keep it as just a strong AoE without, without the stun. Oosh, yep. It deals a lot. Let's do Rally and Cry. And Piercing Shards. Okay, she needs to heal. Shockwave is good. But I'm gonna Crescent Strike because Shockwave is an AoE and I'm going to heal myself. Good thing, since I just got targeted, I would have died from that. Sword Slash and ah, heal again? Maybe. We beat him! Yay! Awesome! Okay, we just have to kill this uh, crystal fairy then. What do you think? Do you think we should add stun to the stone explosion? Let's do it. Let's do it. Make him a little bit more difficult than he was. So let's go to skills. Stone explosion effects. And we're going to add state stun. 50% of the time. And then let's just make sure her cleanse Effect stun. Yes, it's poison and stun. Okay. I don't think we need to play test that again. I actually feel pretty good with the way the boss is set up right now. So in the next episode, we're gonna go ahead and make the final boss's room and set up the final cutscene for our game. I will see you in the next episode. Bye!